Baby has become arguably the hottest rapper in the game coming into 2020, but he started off the year on the wrong foot with new charges he picked up in Miami. Yeah, rest in the baby, boy. Crazy. Hey. Rest in the baby. Now this isn't the first time that baby has been busted by the cops, nor his first time behind bars. Now in fact this dude, he even killed a man inside a Walmart, but don't fret, all charges were dropped and the shooting was deemed as self-defense. Now I guess we know how DaBaby, you know, feels about them American gun laws. He's probably always packing. At the time of this recording, DaBaby's recent arrest and what he had to say inside the courtroom, well it's gone viral. I got a quarter million dollars in the hotel, I need my lawyer to go get it. Who's got a quarter million just sitting in a bag? Damn. And the baby, he only stole 80 bucks off the promoter who failed to pay him, which got him, you know, stuck in jail. But as I mentioned, this wasn't his first time locked up behind bars. Now we could do it before they're famous on the baby or update the one we have. I'm sure we'll probably be making an epic sometime in the future. But today I wanted to try something a little different. We're gonna take a look at the baby's history of trouble with the law. Now this dude, he seems like a good kid. The ladies love him as do the broskies. But after doing all of this research, I think it's fair to say that to baby, well, he can be all smiles one minute, but if you clown him, well, he can go bad baby real fast. Not like the cash me outside girl. Well, maybe kind of like her. Anyway, let's get into this video. Instead of throwing water, he'll throw some fists, you know. All right, here we go. I don't know if we have an intro. DaBaby was born Jonathan Lindale Kirk on December 22nd, 1991 in Cleveland, Ohio. But he moved to Charlotte when he was six years old and growing up, well, he was the baby of the family, like for real. You see, like I'm the baby of the right. family. Like I really been the baby, like I'm the baby, so you know. With two older brothers, he was raised by his mom while his dad, he traveled the country working for the army. Now dad, he stayed in the picture and he would see him over the summers. Now in DaBaby's interview with Nardwar, where we found out that the apple, it doesn't fall far from the tree, with DaBaby revealing that he was actually raised by some robbers. You were raised by robbers? Some of them was robbers, yeah. Tell us more about your uncle. Rick the realest alive, you know what I mean? Realest alive, Rick James, the real Rick James, by the way. At five years old, he knew that he wanted to make a million dollars, stay in a mansion, and never have to work a nine to five. But how are you gonna do that in Charlotte, North Carolina? For real, take a look at the place. This is like where he came from. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. So the baby, he spent time making money on the streets starting at 17, but he knew that that was never a lifestyle that he wanted to pursue. Now the kid, he did well for himself hustling because he bought himself a condo and two cars before he was 22. He then sold it all, taking a big gamble on himself to become a rap superstar. I mean, before you started rapping, you said you were already successful in the streets. Yeah, you can say that. Now the average price for a condo in North Carolina, I decided to look it up and it turns out it's around quarter million dollars. So yeah, it's like the same amount this guy had in his bag back in his hotel room. So the dude had definitely made some moves building up his net worth and of course this would come with a few run-ins with the law. Now on June 15, 2013, well DaBaby, he was caught in possession of half an ounce of marijuana and carrying a concealed weapon. Now he was released on $500 bail. Now he got booked again a couple times in 2016 for a misdemeanor and weed possession. There was of course possession of a firearm as we mentioned before and he was arrested for driving with a fake license. In early 2016, Baby Jesus, which he was known at at the time, well he headed on his first tour throughout America with his friends and on that tour, well Baby he had a little run in with the police. Now ironically enough, while trying to shoot a music video at a local Walmart. Now he ended up doing eight hours in Virginia before getting out, but this wouldn't be his last Walmart incident with a fatal shooting happening in 2018. Now he's actually explained to his fans his side of the story, so let's take a listen to that. To walk down on you and your family, threaten y'all, whip out on y'all. Let me see what y'all gonna do. You feel me? I wasn't in no mother produce section. I wasn't grocery shopping. I would buy my baby some more winter clothes, cold outside. See me buying baby clothes and he wanna come show me how tough that he is. Come on, my We have to bleep out every time he says the N-word. But uh, essentially what happened was that two men, they approached him while he was with his baby mom and two kids. 
Now an altercation had broke out and these dudes they were packing and the baby well he did what he had to to protect his family. Now this altercation had resulted in the death of one person. Now the baby he pleaded self defense and after reviewing the security footage well the courts they agreed. His initial gun related charge it was dismissed but he was found guilty of a concealed weapon charge and he received one year of unsupervised probation. Now the next year he would be a double XL freshman and his career would skyrocket but so would the fandom and this resulted in a few situations which most notably is the dude at the Louis Vuitton store who can forget this. No to baby he would get arrested again after getting off stage in his native Charlotte in 2019 and this one will it made the local news. Police arrested him and ticketed him for possession of marijuana. Investigators later released him from custody, but in addition to the marijuana charge, DeBaby says CMPD also ticketed him for resisting arrest. We caught up with him outside the jail, and he says that never happened. So that's what mainstream news had to say about the incident, but more behind the scenes footage had been taken, and DeBaby, he spoke about being targeted by the police. Unlawful police department unlawfully searched my car, arrested me made me take 12 pictures in there, sit around, arrested me, then pulled me from out of there and just say, okay, we free to, you free to go. We about to drop you off around the corner and gave me a citation. They said I resisted arrest. Now what I did, seeing how they were unlawfully searching my car while I was on stage, before I went on stage, I continued to perform, put on the show for my fans, had my, my outstanding video production team, the Real Goats, had them prepared and had this right here put on me and pulled their own trick on them. So what we got is high quality audio and video of me doing everything but resisting arrest before they just brought me down here. And we will be airing it out and y'all will see how dirty the CMPD police department just did me on the holidays in front of my daughter while I was putting on a show for my city. Y'all have a good night. He also took to Twitter to explain his side of things. He stated, Someone died last night while the police department wasting resources and officers to harass me in an attempt to make a bad example out of me. When in reality, I'm the most positive example the city of Charlotte got. Especially for anybody in the streets of Charlotte and the kids. Now it's actually a shame because the man had spent that day doing a toy drive giving gifts to hundreds of kids. The last thing you ever want is your own city to do you bad. I mean you don't see Drake getting locked up here in Toronto. Although he did have to cut the Toronto chair girl from his video. Anyway, let's get back to the baby because 2020, well, he's been making all sorts of headlines and for the wrong reason. First up, we got video footage that surfaced at the Dallas airport where he was seen getting into a scrap with someone who worked at a bagel shop. <laughs> <laughs> then there was his now infamous arrest in Miami. Now to baby he was owed $30,000 for a performance but the promoter he showed up with only 20k. So to baby's crew they allegedly pounced on him. They stole 80 bucks, a credit card, an iPhone 7 and well you can take a look for yourself. It's like seven cop cars came. Like it was a big deal. Yeah, arresting the baby boy. Crazy. I Arresting the baby. What that is? That's not nice enough. All that for the baby, man. No, the baby, he spent 48 hours behind bars, and when he got out, well, he made a few posts to Instagram. They read, Please stop talking to me about that week 48 hours I spent in jail and that failed attempt to break my spirit and interrupt the path I'm taking to my God given success. Don't allow yourself to be misled by janky promoters and lazy grown men itching for the opportunity to file a lawsuit they won't win. I remain composed and focused knowing allegations made without honesty and integrity will never be honored by the most high. Please be reminded that situations like these aren't worthy of your time or attention. Don't allow yourself to become lost in the sauce or misinformed by the media. I encourage you all to kick back, relax, and prepare yourselves for this new wave of music and entertainment I have prepared for you all. So there you have it. Let's hope this is the end of his time getting incarcerated. Now I personally could picture the baby transitioning into film and being like a superstar all around actor, rapper, everything. I think he's got some serious star quality. So let's hope he stays out of trouble. As for the rest of the story, well I'm gonna wrap this one up here because this is before they were what? Wait, what are we gonna title this video? the legal history of uh, before they got locked up. I'm not sure. I guess you know before I do. Anyway, my name is Michael McCrudden. You already know that. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video.